I'm Rachel Smith and I use my iPad for graphic recording. These are the brushes I use in the Work Visual Drawing app. I use the thick rectangle brush, number 7, ignore the 5 that gets fixed later in the video, for text and outlines. I set it at 3 pixels, 0% transparency and spacing, and dynamic sizing. I use the solid round brush, number 3, for coloring in shapes. I start at 8 pixels and change the size if needed, but 8 is good for most of my little drawings. I use static sizing on this one, so I always know how much area I'll fill. The eraser uses the same settings as the coloring brush, except of course I designate it as an eraser and not a brush. Those are my three basic brushes, and I line them up from left to right using the first three brush spots on the interface. I also have three special effects brushes. The first is the airbrush, which I use a lot for soft color. This is the fourth brush in the menu, the soft round one, and I set it to 14 pixels, 75% transparency, 1% spacing, and dynamic sizing. Sometimes I make it thinner or thicker as needed. The second one is unique to work visual, and I call it the wet titles brush. It looks like wet paint and is great for titling your pages. It's the N-shaped brush, number five in the menu, and I set it to 24 pixels, 0% transparency and spacing and dynamic sizing. Note that you can't tap to dot with this brush because it looks like the letter N when you do that. Speaking of dots, the last brush I use a lot is a dotted brush, for soft borders and lines joining things. This one is the same as my outlines and text brush, but I temporarily change the spacing to 100%. One of these additional three will fit on the brush bar, and the other two I have to edit when I need them. For my full review of Work Visual App, please see my blog at digitalfacilitation.net.